Ooh. Sorry, guys. So, anyways, check this out, okay? In the middle of recording that, um, I didn't realize that, again, those pictures ended up on my, my card. So, there was like over 3,000 pictures. I had issues with it before. I deleted them once. Somehow they ended up back on there. Uh, and just aggravating. Every time I turn around... I'm going to move you guys a little bit closer. Every time I turn around, those things are back on there. Causing my videos to be cut short in the middle of every single one. So anyways, um, that fishing pole... Um, I thought it was going to be pretty flimsy. You know how it was bending right there at the end. Um, well, apparently... I tried to download all this stuff onto my computer, or onto uh, YouTube for you guys, and found out that for some reason, uh, it, my phone had no service on it for like the past 24 hours. Um, it, it's got service, uh, but it wasn't working properly. So, I had to put it into my computer. I deleted everything off from, off from my uh, SD card. And, and now, I'm back on here explaining to you guys what's going on. Like an idiot. Um, the, that fishing pole is pretty amazing, guys. Um, I took it out fishing today. I had some jerks down at the water. Uh, they wanted to pull right up to the dock where I was at and then take off with their boat, splashing water all over the dock from their little rooster tail they were leaving. Um, basically, they just made it so that I couldn't fish. Uh, but I did get snagged on some stuff in the water quite a few times, and I put the pole to the test. I just pulled on it and pulled on it and pulled on it. I mean, that pole was bent right over, like almost touching the bottom part um uh, uh the tip of the pole was almost touching the other part so it was almost a complete um deal and it just literally um it it held right up you know uh i was kind of worried about it because of how flimsy it was but when it comes down to it the action of it when you're casting out when you're reeling in everything it's like it it's strong i mean it's it's a tough little pole um and as small as it is i didn't think that i was going to get a good cast out of it i think makes it almost accurate almost every time everywhere that you wanted to fish at um i did put it to its test though uh, i did not try to fish for anything little uh, I wanted to see how strong it was going to be, if it was actually going to hold up, if it was going to be a good pole for uh, fishing and see if it was going to you know, be able to hold up to anything. So I took it out and I threw on some bass lures and, and, and some more larger game. Um, and it, it, it pulled that stuff through the water. Uh, that pole being loose like that is, I'm not sure why that's like that. Uh, but... I'm definitely going to have to take a look at that and see if if it just needs to be tightened down a little bit more. Um, see if there's a nut that I can put on the inside to stop it from sliding up and down like that. Um, you know, just anything, really, just so that I can see if it's actually going to work or whatever. Uh, when I did try to cast it out the first couple of times... You know, being the line that's on it, they always put junk line. Who knows how long it was on there. It could have been on there for like five or ten years uh, from when they first had the prototype and all that stuff. So, I mean, it could be junky line. And it really wouldn't let me cast out. I had to change the fishing line that was on it. Once I changed the fishing line that was on it, it went very smoothly. Um, so, basically, this is a review as well. Uh, on that um, on that little pen fishing pole um, I recommend it guys if 
if you're a survivalist or um, you know if you're gonna be uh, doing just about anything um, it's a perfect kids poll it's a perfect adult poll uh, the little poll is actually very 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 rugged like I put it to its test today when it got snagged up I yanked on it you know um, I lost some lures uh, because they got snagged and I yanked on it and the line snapped before the pole did so I did put it to its test it does work it's an amazing pole uh, I was very very surprised at how well it it would hold up like I could have put uh, it, I wouldn't recommend doing it but I could have put 20 pound test on there and it probably would have done just as well um, so basically get the pole guys I mean it's not very much uh, the one that I got um, it's it's a ten dollar pole uh, you know with the open face um, they do have the casting reels with most of them I don't like the casting reels I can't I I have a hard time uh, trying to get them to work out without uh, tangling up knotting up underneath there and having to spend more time fixing it than I do casting and, and catching fish um and they also have one that has a um uh a fly reel on there uh, i'm still kind of figuring out why they want to put a fly reel on something like that unless the holes are a little bit thicker uh but i'm getting that one soon uh hopefully i'll get that within the next couple of days um, cause I ordered it at the same time this fishing pole. So I'm hoping that it, it, it gets here about the same time. Um, another thing is, uh, if, if the fly reel only comes with regular line or if the, if the holes, uh, if the guides, uh, my sister corrects me every time when I say eyes, they're not eyes, they're guides. Uh, she used to build fishing poles, so they had proper names for everything. Um, the, uh, basically, if the guides are big enough for me to put fly fishing uh, line through there, um, I'm going to have a nice little fly rod. Uh, otherwise than that, it's just going to be basically another fishing pole with a fly rod or a fly reel. And that, I don't know how well that's going to work, <laughs> honestly, guys. Um but it's it's going to come with some jigs and uh fishing line and and a couple of bobbers and stuff like that um you know so i i'm just curious as to what that one's going to look like uh, and then i got some more paracord coming um i'm not sure what else i can't remember exactly everything uh that i ordered or anything but um i know i did get a frog uh it's top water weedless um and uh, I got one of those so that I could use it with this pole that I just got today. And I was hoping that it would be here. It's already been shipped out. Unfortunately, it's not here yet. So I don't know when it's going to be here. But I hope I get it tomorrow because that's going to be awesome, guys. Um, so basically, I just wanted to let you know, get that pole, man. It is so awesome, guys. Um, and... I've got a second pole coming, so if I don't, if something happens to the first pole, I have a second pole, but like I said, it's pretty rugged. Go out, get yourself uh, a pole, go on wish.com and look up fishing. Uh, just look up fishing, and then it'll go through all the fishing stuff that they have, um, you know, that you can take a look at and stuff. And these are the pen fishing poles. Um, so, yeah, literally, you gotta get one, guys. I um, can't stress that enough. It's pretty amazing. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm just going to let you go. Um, like I said, you know, uh, like and subscribe and um, leave any comments that you may have, and I will answer them as soon as I can. All right, guys. Have a good one.